When Obama got elected, I was so excited. It was awesome. I, I remember I wore an Obama shirt, right? I wore an Obama shirt. The day he got elected, I was expecting High Five City, you know? <laughs> Nobody did anything. <laughs> Nothing when I went outside. Nobody said it was, and I kind of realized it's kind of redundant to have a black dude wearing an Obama shirt. Everybody's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> you like Obama, we get it. It's just like, you know, I, I do the same thing. I realize it's like, yeah, it's kind of redundant. I don't go up to white people wearing Coldplay shirts like, you like Coldplay? <laughs> huh, for how long? <laughs> Forever? <laughs> the one thing I didn't get about Obama that, that, that kind of made me mad was like, when he was coming up, people were like, we have a serious black candidate for president. We have a serious black, cra we, this is crazy. We have a serious black candidate. And then when he won, they were like, oh, our first multiracial president. And I was like, that's not fair. I mean, like, let's set the record straight, okay? If you went outside tonight after this show and Barack Obama was stealing your car, <laughs> you wouldn't yell, hey, someone stop that mixed guy. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't say that. <laughs> Obama. Uh, Obama looks black, so people treat him black. It's like, it's never been about who you are as a person, because that's up to you. You got to choose that stuff. It's about how people treat you. That's what race is about. Like, you know, like I, like, I got a lot of mixed friends who just don't know how they feel about stuff. Like, they're just like, I'm culturally confused. And I'm just like, man, just, to, no, listen. It's about how people treat you, okay? If you're mixed and you're walking down the street and somebody asks you, hey, what did you think of the movie Julie and Julia? <laughs> you're white. Nobody's ever come up to me and asked me about my opinions on Mad Men and Revolutionary Road. <laughs> no one, okay? Now, if you're walking down the street and you're mixing somebody that's like, hey, what did you think of last night's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? You're black. <laughs> or gay. <laughs> it's one of the two. But the best, <clears throat> the best part about Obama is that he's a black nerd. I love that, John. Because I'm a black nerd, and that was illegal until, like, 2003. <laughs> It's awesome. It's so awesome. It's just like there's black nerds everywhere, you know, like it's, it's awesome. It's just like they're everywhere now. It's just, it's so great. And I, I, I love it. Like, I, but it was just hard for us growing up. Like, you know, I remember I was like the only black kid at my school for a while. Like I was the only, I remember I went to a white school and white kids were excited. They were super excited. They were like, oh, we got a black kid. This is awesome. We got a black kid. They were like, oh, hey, uh, Donald, uh, what, do you, what kind of rap music you into? And what kind of, what kind of uh, sneakers you like? And I was like, oh, I don't really uh, like uh, rap music. I really enjoy the soulful stylings of the cranberries. Um, <laughs> we can talk about that. And they were like, nah, man, you like sneakers and you like rap music and you go, tell us which one you like. I was like, oh, you're hurting me, Steven, you know?